If you've ever tried to take a music track and turn it into an instrumental track and you've not really been happy with the results, I've got a treat for you. The folks over at La La, how do you even say it? The folks over at La 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 La, the folks over at LALAL.AI have asked me to review their software that splits the vocals and the instrumentals from the same track. And I gotta tell you, I'm actually very pleased with the results. On this episode of Virtual Assistants, I'm gonna show you how to use their software. But if you don't wanna stick around, I put a link in the description below. Go ahead and click that and you can play around with the software yourself. For this demo, I'm going to split a hip hop track by Bryson Gray to show you how this works. It's actually very simple. Go to lalal.ai, click select file, and choose the file that you want to split. Wait for the file to upload and process, which could take some time depending on the size of the file and your internet speed. Once it's done, you can click the preview button on both the vocals and the instrumentals. Now, here's what you want to keep in mind in order to get the best possible sounding file. You want to use a file that's high bitrate, meaning if you can get a 320 kilobyte per second file, that's probably best. Although this does work with 192 and 128 kilobyte per second files. If you're ripping a song from YouTube and you try to use this software, it's not going to sound that great. Now, you got to keep in mind that no software is going to perform this task perfectly. It's like adding a bunch of ingredients into a mixing bowl and then trying to take those ingredients out and get it isolated completely. It's just not going to happen. But this software does it the best out of any software that I've used. Now, click on the preview button here. We're going to check the vocals out first to see how they sound. It's me against the world and I don't understand. Then God said you got me, son. Here I am. Pretty clean. You can still hear some artifacts in the background, but it's a very clean cut. And that sounds good too. It's as close to karaoke as you're gonna get. When you're ready, you wanna click the process the entire track button. And that's gonna prompt the software to process the entire track and split the audio, vocal and instrumental, and send you the download links to your email. The email is gonna look like this with separate links to download the vocal track and the instrumental track. Again, this takes a little while depending on the length of the song, but they're pretty fast. They get back to you in about five to 10 minutes. Now, you wanna be sure to read the terms of service before you use this software. And only use songs that you have the copyright for. You can't go and split the song up and then use the music in your YouTube videos. You can't make any money off of the songs that you split. So be very careful when you're using copyrighted material. If you're gonna do this and you're using a commercial song, make sure that you're doing it in a private setting. So adding this to your Google Slides presentation is just fine. Adding it to a video for a school project is just fine. You just can't be making any money off of your final project. And that's all there is to it. Hit the like button if this was helpful for you. And if you wanna keep your creative juices flowing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I produce a video. Uh, we're getting to about every week. There's been a little lapse lately, but uh, thanks for sticking around with me. My name is Steve Kwasinski, and this has been Virtual Assistance.